hello everyone this is Saf again today i'm gonna show you how to create bouncy or pop-up effect uh, pop-up text effect like this so for that let's start first of all we will add text uh, by alphabet what i mean you will write every alphabet separately for example if i want to write my name i will type s separately let me adjust the size and the writing style okay yes okay right. i'm simply doing copy paste to duplicate the text Okay, now let's arrange them in the middle. Okay, for the pop up effect, we use zoom effect. So I will hide the other effects and apply on the first one to show you. For example, this is my text S. I will double click on it. Sorry, it's from here. Double click. Now I'm inside the letter S. I will up the uh, I will apply a zoom effect by going to transform and zoom here. Okay. Now because my text length is ten seconds, I don't want the effect. We'll apply for one second. For that, you can go here and select one. So this is for one second. Now, for the pop-up effect, you will click on three dots in front of levels option by going in zoom settings. For me, zoom settings are on the left. For you, it can be on the right. You should find the properties window, whether it is on left or right. So, in front of level, click on three dots. So, you will get this line. For your zoom effect for pop effect i want this to appear from a zero size and going bigger and then going to normal size normal size you know it is 100 so my last point should be 100 because i want this to end on the 100 percent and my first point is from zero because i want this to come from zero if you play like this sorry i did something wrong because uh, now whole level is from 0 to 0 because my line was straight. I First I will use this line, linear parameter. And the second point I will make it to 100. You can manually go here and click 100. So now it is 0 to 100. If I play it looks like this. So it's not the pop up effect. So in the middle first we will make it go bigger like around here. We add a point for that first we will select this parameter change along a curve we will use curve we click this add a point and now you see at this point it is also 100 but I want this to go a little bit upper and then come back to 100 so let's play and see but still it is too smooth I want it to go more and then come to 100 you see this is for us now I will apply the same effect on all the text so I will make everyone appear now I will open copy this effect add into a I and F but because we want first S appear then A then I then F so we will change first is S then we will change the time of for A then time for I then time for F so now if you play it look like this 
So this is how you create the pop-up effect with VSTC. To use uh, these parameters for zoom level like this, these are options in Pro version. To do this in free version, I will show you how to do that. I will go back to my text F. I will hide them. Why I hide them? Because it is easier to work. So I will remove this zoom effect. I will add again zoom effect. And now this time I will not make the size uh, one second. I will make it for you can say around 650 milliseconds. Why? Because we have to use two zoom, two zoom effect. I will copy this, paste it at the end of this. And for this zoom, I will use 350. Why we have to apply two? Because in free version, you don't have option for curves and multi points. You only have option for straight line or parameter line. So we will use the parameter line. So in parameter line, we will use in the first zoom effect, we will do zero to 80%. Oh, sorry, 110% or 115%. So first, we will make it to go to 115%. And then from 115%, go back to 100. So we will come back on the second zoom. Click on the second zoom effect. Click on three dots. Apply parameters. And uh, here, first point should be as the uh, previous one was 115. And now we want it to come back from 115 to 100. And the last point is already 100. So now when you will play, it look like this. See? So you can copy this effect and same way you can apply on all of text I will remove this one delete apply okay now if I play it will look like this so this is how you can create a pop-up text effect with the free version of VSTC. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe the channel. And if you want tutorial on something new, let me know. Thank you.